Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, August 2nd, 2021. Alright, let's get started. Alright, one across. We get an equivalent phrase clue right off the bat. Hey over here. So these quotes mean we need to find an equivalent phrase for hey over here. I wonder if this is just psst like that, like you're trying to get someone's attention. Let's see if we can confirm that on the downs here. Place to hang wind chimes? That's gotta be a porch, right? Goes by ship, say? I think that would mean you were sailing, right? So it'll be sails to match the part of speech here. This is present tense. Goes by ship, so it has to be sails. Dang it, we get another equivalent phrase. That could be shoot, right? Yeah, and let's take a look at this last down here. Ballerina wear. That's gotta be a tutu, right? It's a little frilly dress. All right, we got a lot filled in here. Let's just make sure all of these acrosses are correct. Where Honolulu is? Oahu, that sounds right. Laugh blank, something very funny. That's a riot, a laugh riot, yeah. And then HST, what could that be? FDR successor, yes, Harry S. Truman. Excellent, okay. Um, well, let's take a look at this long one then. This is probably our first theme answer. Service offered by Dropbox. Um, they offer cloud storage, right? You can keep all your files in the cloud. That's very interesting. So this is most likely our first theme answer and it has cloud in it. Hmm, I wonder if our theme today is gonna be about weather somehow? We'll have to see once we get more theme answers. Contacting privately via Twitter or Instagram. It's a very modern thing to do. I think that's called DMing, right? Direct messaging. Okay. And as you can see, I like to build off of answers we already have in the grid. I feel like once you have a letter or two, it's a lot easier to see what the correct answer should be. Computer for apple pickers. This is wordplay. This is indicated by this question mark at the end of the clue here. So this is not going to be about a computer that would be good for people that pick the fruit apple. Um, this is going to be about people that pick Apple computers from the company Apple. And you can tell that they're talking about Apple the company because this A is capitalized here. It's not just a regular Apple. And so Apple makes Macs, right? So that would be the computer you would pick if you were an Apple picker. Way in the past? Hmm. It probably ends in a go. Um, hmm. Maybe it's just ages ago. Yeah, that could be right. Great. Ooh, I think this might be Kvetch. That is a great piece of fill there. I think this is probably Yiddish. Ages ago is looking wrong though. GV looks very bad here. I wonder if it could be something else. Let's take a look at this across. Egg to be fertilized. Well, um, an egg, biologically speaking, is called an ovum, right? Yeah, and when that's plural, that's ova. You see that a lot in crosswords too. Just manage with by. That could be eek by, right? You're just squeaking by. So maybe this is eons ago. That is a long time in the past. Deutschmark replacer, that was the Euro, right? The Deutschmark used to be the currency in Germany and they switched over to the Euro. Roman emperor who said before dying, what an artist the world is losing in me. Uh, yeah, I think that was Nero, right? The much maligned Nero. Okay, completely stupid. Could that be moronic? All right. X, Y, or Z in geometry. Those are the different axes you could plot a graph on in geometry. So I think that's gonna be an axis. You have to be careful with the words or or and in the clues. If it's asking for an or, X, Y, or Z, it's asking for just one 
So they're giving you multiple examples, but they want the answer to be singular. If it was X, Y, and Z, it would be asking for the plural. It would be axes, but because it's or, they want the singular, which is gonna be axis. Yeah, you have to be very careful about those little details in the clues. Kitchenware brand, I think is OXO, right? I don't know if it's OXO or OXO. Figure seen during Chinese New Year. I think they like to bring out dragons during Chinese New Year. Bits of rain or dew, I think should be drops. New York's blank city music hall. That's Radio City Music Hall. That's where you can go see the Rockettes. Okay. Well, blank we all. Um, I think you say, well, aren't we all, right? Yeah. Okay, we've got a lot more filled in here. Let's just double check. Happening once in a blue moon. Yeah, that's rare. I'm not sure what a blue moon is. Is that like two full moons in a month or something like that? It might be something like that, yeah. Tribute poem. That's an ode, yes. What you have to remember to use an ATM is your PIN, personal identification number. Drunkard is a sot. Yeah, this is a great word to know too. You can be besotted and you're a sot if you're a drunkard. Okay, so this is probably our next theme answer. Let's take a peek at this and see if we can draw any similarities between the other theme answer we have filled in. Firefly could be a lightning bug, right? All right, so we have cloud and lightning. It definitely feels like we have kind of a meteorological theme going on, doesn't it? Okay, let's keep building down maybe. Smiles could be grins. And because the clue is plural, smiles, the answer has to be plural, grins. Manage one's account via the internet. <laughs> this seems like a very crosswordy answer. I think this is probably eBank. Yeah, when you get a clue that's talking about doing something on the internet, you almost always have to at least consider that your answer is just gonna start with the letter E, because that shows up all the time, even though these are kind of phrases that we don't really use in the real world. Okay, outward appearance. Hmm. I'm not sure about that one. Gawker, could that be an ogler? Yeah, possibly. Let's see if we can check these acrosses. A megalomaniac has a big one. They have a big ego, right? Train travel is rail. You can go by train, you can go by rail. Get the shampoo out should be rinse. Okay, so maybe this is a guise. Ooh, that's a very nice piece of fill also. We've had some nice words on this grid today. Kvetch, guys, these are great. Less cooked in the center, say. I guess that could be pinker, if you're talking about a Beyond Burger, maybe. Free from. This is a very tricky clue. This is kind of ambiguous because this could be kind of like describing the state of something. Like, I was free from schoolwork, but it could also be a verb. You could be freeing someone from something. And I think that's what we have in this case. I think it's going to be rid of. You're freeing someone of something. You're ridding them of it. Yeah, that's a very nice ambiguous clue there. A portion as costs. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is going to be. It feels like it might want to start with price. Yeah. Let's start building out over here and maybe we can build towards our third theme answer. Napkins, tablecloths, etc. Um, it might be linen. Yeah, I think these things are just described as linen. You know, get the good linen. Okay. Place to play roulette could be a casino. Can't we all just blank? Can't we all just get along? Yeah, who said that? That's kind of a famous quote, isn't it? All right, let's try these downs here. Grocery conveniences could be carts. Yeah, those are almost necessities if you're doing a big shopping trip. Greeting in Hawaii, that's aloha, right? Okay, 
absorb as gravy. That should be sop up, right? All right. So what's this short one down here? Maple product? A maple tree makes sap, yeah. And we also got this one here. What's pulled through a pulley is rope, yeah. And look at this. It's looking like we've got some thunder, right? This is definitely about a lightning storm, isn't it? Classic Corvette alternatives. I think those are going to be Thunderbirds, right? Those were also very cool cars back in the 80s. I always used to think the Thunderbird painted on the hood was like the coolest thing ever. Okay, a green one is helpful in a garden. If you have a green thumb, that's like the best thing you can have as a gardener, right? And then we got this one filled in. That guy's. <laughs> his, yes. It's his. It's that guy's. <laughs> that's funny. Jean Blanc Picard, Starfleet Commander. That's Jean Luc Picard. Oh my god. My favorite Starfleet captain. I love the next generation so much. It's definitely my favorite incarnation of Star Trek. Okay, country singer Lynn. That's Loretta Lynn, right? Yeah. She sang Coal Miner's Daughter, I think. I'm not super great with country music. May Honoree. I think that's your mom, right? That's when Mother's Day is. Self-referential, that's meta. Night visions, those should be dreams, right? And then that gives us RTE here. This is probably an abbreviation for root. GPS option abbreviated, yeah. And then why don't we take a look at our last theme answer here. What precedes a storm or a hint to 2029 or 43 across. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is going to be. What precedes a storm? Hmm. Isn't there a calm before the storm? I don't think that's what they're getting at here, though. Hmm. I bet if we get this first letter here, that might be able to help us out a lot. Like an owl in a simile. Um, well, owls are said to be wise, right? Like wise as an owl. So maybe it's just wise. And then this looks like it starts with weather, right? Maybe it's a weather front. Oh, that's great. Because there's weather at the front of all our theme answers. Very good. All right. Yes, that first letter did help a lot there. All right, so let's fill in the rest of this here. TV, newspapers, etc. Those are examples of media. Glass that refracts light could be a prism. Sorry and trouble for two. Those are all board games, right? Games. Let's just confirm we got this right here. Fuel efficiency stat is miles per gallon. Victorian era, yeah, that was during Queen Victoria's reign, right? And not bright is dim, yeah, excellent. All right, Patriot Nathan, oh yeah, that's Nathan Hale. I spend a lot of time in Connecticut, I've got family over there, so they have a lot of things about Nathan Hale over there. They have his house and museums and all kinds of stuff like that. He's the Patriot that made the famous American quote, I regret that I have but one life to give for my country. Yeah, okay. Goodbye, my friend. We need another equivalent phrase here. That's ta-ta. Came down as to earth. I guess that could be a lit. This is a word that means to land. Um, this is the past tense version of it. The present tense is a light. A-L-I-G-H-T. Yeah, that's a good one to know. This one shows up on the crossword very frequently. And you know it has to be past tense because the clue is in the past tense. Came down. You've said that already. Geez. Another equivalent phrase. I guess that could be, I get it. <laughs> you want someone to stop prattling on about something. A portion as costs. Oh, I guess that's prorate. Wow. Yeah, that's like applying costs to a specific kind of service or time period yeah wow that's another really good piece of fill there okay summer in french is at yeah that's the word for summer in french that also shows up very frequently sticky stuff is goo very good okay 
Let's do the downs down here. 10K or a marathon. Those are races of very different distances. Injection that conceals wrinkles. I think that's Botox, right? Is that actually botulism toxin? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Word after school or party. Um, hmm. I'm not sure about that one. Loosen as laces. Could that be untie? That seems pretty good. Is a huge fan of in modern slang. That stands, right? Oh, that's such a nice modern phrase. All right, we solved the puzzle in 18. That's a little on the slow side, but I think we were taking our time and enjoying our weather front theme. All right, so let's just double check these last answers here. Leading to girl, add a girl, yeah. To coin a phrase, yeah. And past partners are exes, yeah. Boy, there was so much nice language on today's puzzle. I just love when they have really modern pieces of fill, like stands. Yeah. We also had Botox, that's really fun. Guys. Yeah. And Kvetch, I just love Kvetch. That's fantastic. <laughs> And this was a really nice theme. This is a nice Monday theme. Um, I like that we have kind of these weather phenomenon that tie all the theme answers together at the beginning. And this is a great reveal or weather front because there's weather at the front of all the theme clues. Yeah. All right. There might be a thunderstorm on the puzzle, but I think our solve was clear skies pretty much the whole way through. That was a really nice solve. I hope you enjoyed solving that along with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle, and I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.